Hey everyone, it's Victoria with She's Gone Country Farms. Just getting home from work. We've had a couple days of horrible rain, some really bad storms. So I wanted to come and investigate the garden. Figured I'd bring you guys with me. As I get started, look at these maniacs. As I get started, I wanted to show you guys the coolest plant that I bought. I went with my friend Lisa that uh, runs Spirit Gardens over to Sweet Briar Nursery and I got this cool plant, not the mint, this. This, if you touch the leaves and smell your hands, could you smell it? <laughs> it smells like buttered popcorn. Let's see if I can get that. I'd never heard of something like this. It is the coolest darn thing I've ever seen. And it, it for real smells like buttered popcorn. It's amazing. I can't even believe it. I can't wait to plant it. I also ended up buying some different plants. She had a big sale going on. So I got some plants to fill in some voids that I had. See, it's hard to see now because we got all the rain and so everything's all miserable and over wet. But this time of year is a really great time if you're new to gardening or new to even say flowers, like I've done vegetable gardening forever, but I really hadn't done a bunch of flower gardening. So this is my first year of getting more than just the basics that everyone would get. Ooh. Can you see that? It's hard to get focused with it being that far away. They were just fighting over the feeder. So anyhow, so this is a really good time of year to get flowers because everything is on sale because they're trying to get rid of everything that they were trying to sell in the spring and early summer so that they can get prepared for either say something for the fall or even for next year. So I bought all of these plants. I got a butterfly bush, some other petunias. I'm trying to make it a hummingbird, bird, butterfly oasis. It's hard to tell how gorgeous it looks right now because it's so waterlogged. But it's going to be amazing. In the middle, I planted some seeds. I had bought a hummingbird blend of seeds, so I just kind of tossed them down last night knowing it, knowing it was going to rain today. Uh, this is a 4th of July butterfly bush. It smells amazing. I love it. These are the, obviously the bird feeders. And then I've got some plants over here. That hummingbird just whizzed right past my head. They usually go from that feeder and then they cruise over here to this feeder and then they fight and come over to the one that's on the house, which is my favorite one. Sorry, buddy, am I in the way of you having your dinner snack? <coughs> I said snack, the dog thinks I'm talking to someone other than you guys. So here's what else I bought. Uh, someone was selling on Facebook. I got this for my garden oasis. Look at all of this water, it's a nightmare. You go swimming? Okay, so let me show you. I have to hang this up. Look at this. I like it. <laughs> well, now's as good a time as any to introduce you to my other dog. Hey, Greaser. This is Greaser. He's an old English bulldog. He's a maniac. Hi, sweet boy. We rescued him from the local shelter. Uh, my husband owns a business, Greaser's Garage. He had actually named the garage and the logo is an Old English Bulldog, Bulldog. And about two weeks after the shop opened, the shelter called and said, hey, we've got an Old English Bulldog. Do you guys want to adopt him? And we said, of course we do. We believe in adopting anyhow. But these two dogs of mine, her not so much, but Greaser and Justin are great examples of the fact that you don't have to go and, and buy 
a dog from someone that's been bred and bred and bred and bred, you can get full bred dogs at the pound. So adopt, adopt, don't shop. So let's see how bad the garden looks after all this rain we've gotten. Potatoes still look okay. Everything looks like it's been blown over. It was so windy. We had a tornado warning going on. Uh, one of the hospitals in the area actually was on lockdown, wouldn't let anyone leave, um, put them into the different secure rooms for because there was such a horrific storm, storm and it really seemed like there was going to be a tornado. And it flew through our area, but no tornadoes, and that's what matters. So everything looks okay. I just need to get in here and, and finish up tying everything off and, and securing it to something. And as I'm out here, I notice this. My cucumbers are finally starting to get some blooms. But I'm going to have to clean all these up tomorrow. It's just a mess from all that rain. This guy is not happy. Hopefully I can salvage that. It should be okay. It just needs a good stick, which I'll take care of when I get done with this and can use two hands. I'll clean up the leaves and everything. So anyhow, I hope all of your gardens are doing great and growing well and that this rain didn't end up flooding out all of your hard work. And I will give you an update towards the end of the week. Have a great night, everyone.